necessarily, or we we haven't decided necessarily what Shota saw, but Shota's just going to act as if she got caught. Like, that's all there is to it. So he creates a diversion by throwing a bunch of fruit on the floor or whatever and uh, takes a bag of oranges, which leads into a high-speed chase so, on so, a hoverboard with... No, that <laughs> doesn't happen. But it does lead into a chase. Right, so before we go to what happens with that, in the moment of the chase, you feel that he did that diversion because he thought that she was about to get caught. Yeah. That's the exact way I felt. I felt he was going to do it, but he was like, she's not ready. She already got caught once. I don't want her to get in trouble, so let me create this diversion. Yep. I feel like, and I also felt that from a uh, just a broader scope, I think that when he saw her do the finger twitcher thing, yep. Yep. I felt like he felt like he was responsible for teaching her that. Or just or just let's call or it just, what it is, responsible for her in general. Exactly, exactly. So so then we segue into the chase. Now yeah, into the chase. Into well, yeah, so uh, – and. Shota gets chased by two of the employees of, of the the stock boys, um, just a, you know a few blocks through town or whatever. But we kind of come across a bridge, and it's like an overpass. So it's not like the London Bridge. It's like right, an right. Just a just about a, two or three stories. About two or three stories up. Yeah, yeah good call, good call. Um, but he's cornered. He, the, right. We got one stock boy behind him. We got one stock boy in front of him, and he just says, "Fuck it." He jumps over the overpass Yuri sees him I believe right yeah. and it's a great fucking you know I need to get great this camera work. Great I camera need work. I, I, think, I, yeah. I need to get this here in cinematography yeah. I think the camera work was good the cinematography was great because from an audience standpoint when he jumps all you see is the oranges kind of rolling so I think what Sean is alluding to is you don't know if he's dead you don't know if he got hit by a car you don't know so, see him great look what I have all. to attempt right now not, so, uh, he's not framed I think that's what you're seeing and you see uh, her running away the little girl um, running away because right. Of what happened, we still don't know. We're just kind of using our imagination. Go ahead. Well, due to the cinematography by Ryuto Kondo, and of course I ruined that one. But like you said, I, you just see so you kind of see the edge of the the overpass, and and in the background, which is a street below that carries on under you know whatever. Um, but you just see oranges roll across the street, and I thought for sure I went, "Are you fucking kidding me? Shota's dead." Shota just died. Fuck, this is bullshit. No, he did not die, and it, it also kind of segues into the hospital scene, right? Kind of where we are headed as far as how this wraps up. Yeah, like the the laws involved. Now. Okay, so before I get before I get too too uh, backed up, so uh, or too ahead of myself. So he's in the hospital now. Basically, did not the, die. This is, the, this is the boss scene. This is the boss. Battle, yeah, basically. yeah. This is this is the show down. Um, he's in the hospital. Cops are there questioning him because obviously uh, Osamu and Naboyu or Naboyo wasn't present when they were stealing, and um, and he couldn't walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and but they show up. They show up at the hospital. And the cops are there, and like, oh, how? What's your relation? And now it's like real. And I, you know, he's kind of, he's being very vague. And by he, I mean Osamo's being very vague. And then um, Naboyo shows up, and quote unquote mom, yeah, quote unquote mom shows up, and the cops are now trying to begin to question her. And she basically, in so many words, just is like, oh, we got to go get our other daughter. We got to bail right now. We'll be back soon. The insurance card. And what other daughter means is we're going to go back home. And this is where it kind of leaves you um, conflicted because once they're home, well, actually, the the, the scene where they just leave the cop, um, where they're just like, I'm sorry, we got to go grab our daughter. We literally cut to them packed, and they are now making their way out of the apartment. And what I think, again, genius by not doing this over the top here, like I thought the, the subtlety of how this happens was great. As they're leaving the house, they're all in new clothes. They got their fucking uh, back, uh, their their suitcases packed. And then we just see spotlights come on them as they're walking out. And we're on to the next scene. So we're like, oh, fuck, Johnny Law. Yeah, the fuzz got yep. him, for sure. The yep. fuzz got him that we cut to, I guess, you know, the... Um, well, I mean, the proverbial, we got to do the interview. Now they're, they're now being... the weird, have you been touch interviews going yep. on with the fans? Yeah, because yeah. we first see Yuri like, hey, how did you come... Why are you with these people? Like, did they hurt you, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, she's basically kind of shut mouth 
in, in so many words, kind of shut mouth, but um, doesn't doesn't give anything up. And then you know, like I said, it's Interview City. We we go on to Shota. Like, um, why did you do this? What what's what's going on here? And um, you know, Shota's not given up much. Not given up much. Um, yeah. Yeah, Shota's not giving up much, but uh, hasn't told him anything. Yeah. Um, I think he's more so saying, like, I met him, they found me in the car, they were looking out for me, they're taking care of me. He's not giving, like, anything that's really too bad. Um, but the deeper they go into it, they start asking about, so what about school, what about this, what about that? So I think the more they question him at first, it's kind of like, all right, Shota's not going to give anything, but then it turns more so into, like, a morality dis- discussion. Like, so they didn't let you go to school. They told you this was this. They they don't do this for you. And we so also find out shit. some fucked up shit about our other characters. This is where Aki finds out that Grandma was swindling the parents. Like, did you know that this was going on? This is where you find out Naboyo um, actually killed her, her real husband. Yeah, killed her real husband. And had help from the so-called other. Yep. Husband, from uh, her quote unquote dad. Basically. Well, because they, they were lovers. They were lovers, and it was quote unquote self defense. So what I suppose is she was cheating on him with this guy, and then the, her real husband came home and found out. So they both had to kill him to survive, and that's why they didn't go to jail at that point because they were questioning like, "Hey, you already been in some bullshit," and they said, "Well, the judge ain't convict me, so what do they got to do with this?" Um, but yeah, yeah. Then that segues into what what eventually happens. What well, I mean, basically, is. they. I think Osamu gets the worst kind of inner her worst treatment out of all of them because they're Quote, basically unquote, you're like this the rap. She, uh, they basically say you, you dug a hole in the ground and you hit the body that's yep. uh you know what is that corpse disposal or what do they call it something close to that. Uh, well now now we're in reality yeah, so yeah. um she gets five years in jail. yeah naboyu's in jail um osamu doesn't uh osamu and shota aren't in jail i don't believe mm-hmm. um and uh yuri and this is what was heartbreaking to me is now back home with the mom and it is it, rough. it is rough right out of the gate i mean it is she like just a weird like fucking come come tell mom you love her or come give mom a hug or whatever and she's just like you know basically she's back to the instincts of what's it gonna fucking cost me you know she was like she even says i'll buy you some new clothes come here she was like, I ain't trying to get my ass off no damn new clothes. And so that whole dynamic, then it, it kind of comes full circle. Like, so was she in a better situation with them, or is she now better with her mom that was whooping her ass for no reason? You know what I mean? And then you also segue into um, Shota, Shota. Why can't I say it? Shota. Shota um, basically is, he's, he's basically having a conversation with child services, and they basically said, we're going to put you in a home with other kids, which he's like, other kids, not adults. So you see that his mom state isn't one of a normal kid. Then it fast forwards into him, um, you know, looking a lot cleaned up, gets a haircut, um, doesn't have dirt on his face, and then he has a visit with so called quote unquote mom who tells him like, Hey, if you ever want to see your real parents, yeah, we've been shitty to you, we don't deserve you, you can find him with this. Like, yeah, so through the glass her, too. Glass while she's in jail. So I think she has a kind of reality moment where she's like, you know what, we weren't the best situation for him or her, um, but I think she still genuinely care for him. That's when it was oh, 100%. So That's what she did it out of love. You know what I mean? It was all out of love, and it was never malice with her, I don't think. You know what I mean? So that's how that dynamic went. And now we go to a scene, um, or a, a few sequences, where uh, Chota and um, Osamu are kind of like, what's, what's the next move, so to speak? And I believe Chota has decided that He's he's gonna go see his parents, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, Osamu doesn't want him to. And in fact, that is where we have the moment where they're leaving on the bus or whatever, and um, not to Osamu, but as he's leaving on the bus, and uh, he finally calls him dad. He mouths dad. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think as I think he left him, was that was just realizing he needs to go on home and, and, and go to school and do his own thing. He came to that reality of life that you know this is I need to do a better situation because he. He came back, and I think he still was hesitant to leave, and that's why he stayed the night with him and left his, like, boarding home or whatever the case. And it wasn't until they had that conversation tonight and said, so did you really did you really find me in a car? Were you really trying to steal? Like, how did you get to me? And he was like, you know what? I, I didn't just find you. You're right. It is what it is. Um, I was trying to steal what we was doing dirt when I got That's how I got you. You know what I mean? So it wasn't like he came yep. to his rescue. So I think that was a defining moment he needed to say, I realize you ain't shit. 
But even still, like you said, as he was going away, he still called him dad. So he still had that yearn to want to be connected. But I think he was smart enough to say, I got to let you go. You know what I mean? Oh, dude. I mean, I'm wrecked at this moment, you know, because I'm like, the family's no more. She got five years. Fucking Shota's going to see mom and dad. Yeah, I mean, he was child services. He's like in a you know a family home now, supposedly. Right, so, yeah. right. So, and and it's like one of those things where I was like, I had to step back as a viewer <clears throat> and go, what the fuck did you think was going to happen? We we kept it real from frame one. Like we didn't try to create this weird utopia right. of like. Where every, everyone's gonna like we kind of went by the numbers which i think is why the genius of the movie and you know that's why i give it nine nine five and um you, i believe you said you gave it a seven i mean seven. seven it's a seven seven and a half like i said i think it was a solid movie the story is solid but it's for what it was like i said a strong seven and a half for sure it was a good movie like i said I, rewatch value i don't know and other action that i mean but the story was phenomenal and i think the good acting is it's phenomenal foreign film that I see. That's what I've seen this year. Honestly, well, for sure. I just, it, if we had a, like almost a, a reverse Star is Born as mo- moment where, <laughs> yeah. did you see Star is Born? Okay, so anyway, something depressing right, happens at the end. Cow, but the, but boy. in this particular case, our last shots are her playing by, out, by, herself, by herself outside of the apartment that we met her at. So it's just kind Looking of like, the balcony yep. With it's the marble she got from Shata. Yep. And it's just Shota, Shota, Shota. I don't know why. I keep... See this film. That's all I'm gonna say on the matter. See this film because, uh, well, first of all, because if Ellis Cinema's talking about it, you know it's good. Um, well, let me get my, my, my sign. Well, no, so... we ain't, we ain't done. We we're not done. What's the music? We're just we're we're fading into it, brother. Oh, okay. We're fading into it. Oh, okay. So, see shoplifters. I promise you. You just. There's no way that it's not going... You're going to have some reaction on it. That's what I do know. Um, I look forward to seeing Karita's next film. Not even going to front. Um, anyway, we'll be back here uh, soon whenever our schedules uh, permit. Yeah. And you guys know you can always look me up on IG. Joe Cool with a K. J-O-E-K-O-O-L. 321 IG is Joe Cool with a K 321. So J O E K O O L 321. And YouTube as well. Look me up on YouTube. J O E K O O L. Yeah, I'm on the Joe YouTube cool. now too, but I, uh, I'm going to wait until I'm allowed to change my name again because apparently you're only allowed to change your name like twice and then you have to wait 90 days. And I just, <laughs> I didn't know that going in because I'm, I'm old as fuck. Um, Ellis Cinema, you know where it's at. Um, I'm not going to plug, it's everywhere. So. Um, but the new new one is Spotify. If y'all know, no, now you know. You can get it on Spotify and YouTube. So you got no excuse. E L L I S S I N E M A. So say what? We'll see you soon. Joe Cool, Sean, you out. Fucked up the like opening a, music I want of like this a one, door to come and on. I fucking fucked up the closing. But to be fair, the Shoplifter soundtrack is not available for me to get. Go Browns, Odell coming, baby. <laughs>